one of those things I've talked about for a while. I suggest that you get a white lab coat from a second-hand store and have it available if you have someone that is extremely resistant because the white coat to this group of individuals means a doctor, means somebody of authority, and they may be much more prone to cooperating with you. Also, if you know you're not going to have a very long period of time to help this person, you may want to think about not using toothpaste, just with water or a mouth rinse. The reason for that is you'll be able to see and make sure that you're getting all the way to the gum line. Also, a toothpaste, sometimes the mints are too hot for the person. So if you wanted to use a toothpaste, using a child's toothpaste that has either enzymes in it or is fruit flavored. Aside from using the white lab coat, another thing has to do with the actual clenching. A person sometimes will clench and won't allow you to put the toothbrush in between their teeth. Now, one of the things we call it the scissor walk is, is that you moisten the end of your glove that you've put on to do this in water or a mouth rinse. Then you slide it underneath the tissue, right under the upper lip, and using two fingers such as this, you hold it there, and the magic of magic, the mouth opens. You can also, if there's still a little resistance, remove your finger down to the lower arch, give it just a little pressure, and say open or awe, and again, it's the same type of thing. The mouth will magically open. You don't need to be a dental hygienist or a dentist to assess what's going on in the mouth. So we want you to see the difference between what would be normal and what was not normal or is covered with plaque. You definitely have to use the gloves and you definitely will have to have your fingers in their mouth in order to see these things. Now these may not be really pretty to you, but good clean teeth. They're slick and shiny. The tissues are pink. The tissues look a little bit like an orange peel. They're flat. The tissue between the teeth is pointy. All of that points to good oral care. And mostly it's getting that toothbrush all the way up to the gum line. One thing to remember, it may take a few days in order to get the plaque completely out of there and to get the tissues better because there'll probably be some bleeding and this will go on for two or three days and then it gets better.